everyone, it's Elsie here and I have another Paintbrush Studio layout for you today and I'm using the Office Hours collection. So I'm starting with this pattern paper called Prioritise and it's definitely one of my favourites from the collection. I love both sides but I really love this uh, side with all these um, sort of file folders on them. So I'm starting by just fussy cutting them out and yeah trying to arrange them on my page. I only chose uh, or only fussy cut three of those little tabs um, and yeah I'm just using that as the starting point for this page. Um, yeah I've already picked out my photo and now I'm picking out some embellishments and yeah I really love the embellishments in this collection. I just love kind of stationary stickers and <laughs> things like that. So uh, yeah, this collection is right up my alley. And yeah, I'm just deciding what colors to go for. I ended up going for this really cool, like uh, sort of spotty, geometric spotty white pattern, <laughs> um, that top tab. Uh, yeah, and I really like the combination of the three there. So I'm just rearranging them to make them look like they were you know in their own little folder um, and now I'm picking out some uh, paper clips from my stash and I thought it'd be cool to sort of make it look like my photo was sort of paper clipped onto the front of uh, the file um, yeah just for a really uh, sort of slightly realistic look I guess um, yeah I chose a few um, paper clips with a few colour from a few colours just to audition which one looked best and I ended up choosing a yellow paper clip that um, yeah it's quite large and yeah it's a nice colour that matched perfectly with the collection so that worked out well and now I thought I'd use this uh, blue stripey paper um, and sort of create a little notebook edge I don't have a notebook edge punch so to create my own notebook edge I literally just punch holes every sort of centimetre or so and then cut notches uh, with a pair of scissors from into the holes and yeah it kind of creates your own notebook looking paper so that's a good hack for you know those of you who don't have a notebook punch like I do so yeah um, I ended up not using that piece <laughs> um, but yeah I'll save it for another project and then I was thinking, oh, I want to use some more pattern papers. Um, so I'll create my own uh, sort of tabs um, on some paper, my own sort of file tab things, you know. Um, and so I use my envelope punch board and just punch two notches in and then use my trimmer just to cut the excess off. And yeah, I ended up not using that piece again, but uh, it's a really great option if, um, yeah, you want to... Uh, create your own little um, tabs I guess um, yeah and then I thought about using this uh, blue paper uh, not blue paper um, this sort of grey uh, really subtle pattern as my background and looking at it now I think it looks really nice but I actually didn't end up going for it um, but yeah I'll I'll use that on a different page it's a really good background paper so yeah you can kind of see what I'm going for. Um, I decided to um, adhere the file folders uh, sort of at an angle. Um, I just yeah I thought it looked better. Um, my original plan was to have them going across the page but it just kind of felt a bit too busy so I just kind of put it at an angle and I really like the way it looks. Um, and I also backed it with some foam um, so yeah, you kind of had that uh, sort of dimension and that sort of fake realism like you know the folders are um, you know filled with paper so now I'm just mounting my photo onto some white cardstock and I thought I'd make it into a Polaroid but then yeah it just didn't really work um, and yeah I'm attaching it with that paper clip and yeah, I just really like the way that it looks. I never think to use paper clips on my layouts, but 
they're just they look nice I think um, and I have so many paper clips um, it's ridiculous so yeah I should make a note to myself to use them more often <laughs> um, yeah and so now I'm just sticking everything down um, the little pale pink tab um, I also popped up onto some foam and then the white dotty one I didn't um, and again that just kind of gives that sort of faux dimension sort of thing um, so yeah now it's just a case of embellishing everything and yeah it's just like when you've got everything and you're just like oh what do I use so I basically used a little of everything uh, puffy stickers are just amazing and adorable as always and I love the layered embellishments uh, that little book um, rainbow book puffy sticker is just so nice I had to use that um, oh yeah and here I ended up um, shortening making the um, yeah trimming the files down a bit I just felt like it was encroaching too much on the rest of the page and I didn't have enough space to add all the, of the em other embellishments so uh, yeah I ended up just re-sticking it onto a new piece of paper and just making it a little bit shorter uh, just so it yeah the proportions of everything kind of matched up that was just me being like a total perf perfectionist but anyway <laughs> so uh, yeah I love the way that clipboard die cut looks and I added my journaling onto that and I just really like the way that looked like it was sort of coming out of the files um, and yeah that's actually kind of what the design is of the rest of this page I just wanted to make it look like had all these embellishments just kind of uh, spilling out of the file folders um, yeah and it was a good good way to make a good dent in these embellishments um, I've still got loads left over because there's so much um, but yeah I as I said before literally I'm obsessed with stationary um, stickers and you know things like that <laughs> it's very meta but I just yeah just really like the way they look and I love the little um, staplers as well that they have on there you can see that blue one on the top left of my page just love it <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm deciding where everything goes, trying to cluster all the embellishments around my photo and not make it look too much. Um, yeah, I love all these little tabs and all these little sort of journaling spots that are included in uh, the die cut pack and also the cardstock stickers. Um, I didn't actually end up using um, some of those fabric ephemera bits but I wish I did because I really like the way that yellow one looks but anyway <laughs> hindsight so um, yeah I'm just fiddling around with everything uh, deciding where everything should go obviously it's a took a while because I'm so so indecisive and I'm such a perfectionist about these things but <laughs> uh, yeah it's just fun and when the embellishments are this cute it's very easy to do <laughs> so yeah I made a good dent in that chipboard sheet as well but I didn't actually end up using all of everything that I punched out of the chipboard um, because uh, yeah I'll just save it for another day and yeah I love pink fresh chipboard as well because you can kind of punch out the shapes um, and still keep the adhesive on them so when you're ready to commit and stick the embellishment down you can just peel off the back and stick it and it's yeah super easy um, and yeah I think we're pretty much nearing the end as well uh, so yeah just a few little finishing touches and yeah I decided not to put that pin there because I thought it looked like I was sort of stabbing myself um, so I ended up putting pair of scissors which I don't actually know whether that makes it any better but um, yeah it didn't look as aggressive so I'm also trimming uh, the excess of the embellishments off and yeah I just I really like the way that this 
layout looked. It's just really fun and cute and absolutely, yeah, I love this collection. So make sure you check out the collection. I'll leave a link below and everything. And yeah, thank you for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye everyone.